A death investigation underway tonight after a work-related incident an Escambia County employee was working as part of a road crew on Detroit Boulevard near Cove Avenue at around 9 o'clock this morning. WEAR's Chade Ray joins us in Chade, the Escambia Sheriff's Office says the man fell from the bucket. So Escambia County leaders tell me he was part of a crew clearing trees when he fell from the bucket truck. The Sheriff's Office says that's when a tree hit the arm of the bucket. Monday morning, an Escambia County road crew set out to clear trees on Detroit Boulevard near Cove Avenue. The sheriff's office reports that's when the tree swung and hit the boom arm. It knocked the 59-year-old employee out the bucket to the ground. The county says the man died at the scene. Obviously, it's, it's always tough when you lose anybody, um, whether it be an employee, a friend, a family member. The sheriff's office reports the man was not wearing a helmet or harness. The county says this is a difficult time for the family and for the county. There's a uh, there's always a safety message that can be had um, and I wish I could share that exact safety message depending on you know the outcome of this investigation. Um, it's just tough and your heart goes out to those that lost a loved one today. The county says they will be checking in on co-workers and offering support to anyone in need. You know, we're gonna Hold folks in, hold, hold the employees in, make sure everybody's okay. County Administrator Wes Marino says he can't share any more information about the incident as it is under investigation. But he tells me the county will take another look at protocols to make sure something like this doesn't happen again. We'll uh, review, try to re review the incident uh, to figure out what happened. And then also uh, do some, safe, some additional safety training uh, and refreshers there for the employees uh, before we go back to business as usual. Marino tells me there are grief counselors at Public Works today and they should be there tomorrow. The county plans to share more information as the investigation continues. Live in the studio, Shadi Ray, WEAR News.